Well, it's the third trip in a row to Four Springs Lake. Lure over there, she's come on here, so I'll have to fix that up here in a minute. Alright, so we uh, headed out this morning to look to fish Huntsman rather than here, but got up there and it was uh, sleety stuff coming off the mountains. The, uh, the water was, oh, it wasn't too rough, but it was windy. And it was going to be difficult to deal with the boat at the ramp. The uh, the ramp there doesn't have uh, no facilities at all at the ramp. She's just concrete going down into the water and big rocks either side. So I'm sort of looking at it going, well, the, other, the boat I've got here is, I've got one which I really wanted to have of enough sort of, you know, not too big so I could deal with it on my own. Uh, but that was just going to be impossible. I think on my own there was, this morning there's too much wind coming in and it was cold and wet so it's like ah stop it no. Oh I've gone for a drive I've checked it out. I think I definitely need some assistance if I'm going to be boating up there or pick a really calm day so back here on the springs it is. So we've done a bit of a tour around this morning but Bimini and clears all up and happening so I'll be out of the little bit of wind that there is here that the weather here is much much better so yep get to roll around see if I can pick up a trout let's see how we go ah, he's got a good run look at that it's a good fish lose him but this is a good fish and he's lined up the other line too Interesting netting technique, Andrew. <laughs> but we've got a fish, and we've got a good one, and we've got one wrapped in weed. <laughs> Very interesting netting technique. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Whew. Lovely brown trout. Whew. Look at him, I'm the strike tiger again. This thing's kicking butt. Oh, look at all that weed that he's in. That's sensational. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. Has he kicked the lure? Yeah, he has. That was a good fight. Oh. Check you out. What a beauty. What a cracker. What a beautiful. Big four strings brown trout. Ah, oh, so stoked with that. 
took the strike stripe stripe strike tiger flew her again the amongst all that weed but yeah super so excited about that pickup wow and that's pretty cool because i've only been out here for like three quarters of an hour or so which is pretty awesome so always great to have one on the board early and especially a good sized fish like that he got me down there in the weed and and he really sort of got me uh, he didn't really move after that i suppose there wasn't much movement at all going on um and you can see by some interesting sort of netting technique he'd sort of he'd sort of given up the the fight by the end but the start of a fight was was good and uh, bloody awesome actually so <laughs> that was so much fun so yeah well, let's try again one on the board's better than none but it'd be nice to have a day out here where we get onto a few especially as uh, we were starting somewhere different to here so let's see how we go this one's not as big i actually once again thought it was weed but we're into Uh, but we're on the board again number two for the day both rods been over at the same time and i thought oh, well we've hit a forest of weed then um <laughs> once again a little bit like the other day winding it in and the weed starts kicking at me and here we have a rainbow troutus very nice and we caught the other line by the looks of it oh this is a mess all right let's see if we can get this sorted out and we'll have a look at the fish we're on the board the second fish of a day little rainbow trout this time bringing it in like the other day i thought i had weed both rods buckled over at the same time but um no today same as the other day little rainbow trout and we're gonna do it today because i've already got one one's enough for me so the hook's come out and got him in the mouth there so i'm gonna do all that and then i'm gonna pop him back and it's a bit of a shame because this one's the one that's been doing all the damage and that don't look quite right hmm only one of these i've got with the stripes got on the spots he'll be going on next and on again, number three. This one feels a bit more substantial than the last one. Oh, he's skull dragging in. Now he's a little bit more interested. Whew. Wow interested to start with they're a little bit dead when they get to the boat i have to be honest with you maybe it's a wrap up in that weed and they think that's it that's a bigger one than the first one here it is oh wow having a day out today ladies and gentlemen check him out gold and glistening in the sunshine bigger than the first one wow this is cool four springs brown trout this is so cool i've gone onto a few today this i'm not actually sure exactly what the law is called but whatever it is black and gold hard body rafava style lure it's kicking butt yes 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 uh, let's pop this one back too we don't need that many. Just the one will do us. Clearly I've got to work on my catch and release skills. But he hasn't floated back up, so that's a start. Hawk Sniper Hard Body Lure 60S Killer Wasp. That's what I'm actually dealing with, or a variant thereof. A wasp with dots at the moment, and spots if you like. So, 
Well, that's what we need to invest in a few more of, I think. Kind of like the idea. Fishing with these babies. Especially if it's going to be this successful every time I'm out. Alright, it's just gone four o'clock. And I think the I think we've been on the water for the best part of the fishing today. So I'm gonna call that a day. Just gonna troll up here for a little bit. Just in the odd chance that something else comes along. But otherwise, I think we're gonna say what a good day how awesome was that so gotta be happy with a day like that so we'll be back again sometime soon i'm sure first uh, the idea of a trip to huntsman didn't quite pay off or pan out the way that we sort of thought it would but uh, here we are at four springs and picked up three fishies so awesome day out